Hey friends, it's Miss Ashley. I'm here today to talk to you about math word problems. So many of us in school are learning how to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And students often wonder, why in the world do we need to learn how to do these things? Well, actually, the real world is full of situations where you need to apply your math skills. So today what we're going to do is take some real world scenarios and give them to you in math stories. You're going to use your knowledge and your math skills to solve them. There'll be four different choices of challenge for you from levels one, two, three, and four. You might have to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, or even division to find the answers. And we're gonna work through a thinking process that I call read, plan, solve, and check. So again, you're gonna notice behind me the words read, plan, solve, and check. And these are really important because this is actually what our brain does when we're thinking about solving a problem. Uh, first, we're listening or reading and learning what the problem is, and we're kind of thinking, what is this story really about? Then we're coming up with a plan. What are you going to have to do to solve the problem? Maybe there's some clue words and we're gonna be talking about the clue words that you can find in these word problems that will tell you what to do. Then you're gonna actually solve it. Sometimes you draw a picture, you use number sentences and numbers to figure out the answer. And at the end, you always have to check to make sure that your answer makes sense. So one of the things I want to do is first talk with you a little bit about keywords. So keywords are actually little clues that are given to you in a math word problem. You might see words like add, sum, total, all together, plus, in all. If they're using those words in a word problem, it probably means you're going to need to do some adding of numbers together to get your total. You might see words like subtract, remain, difference, less than, fewer, how many more, minus. These are all keywords or clue words that tell you to subtract. Maybe you see words like multiply, product, times, twice, maybe even three times, four times, five times, total multiplied by. These would be words that they would use as keywords to indicate you need to multiply. Or you could see the words divide, quotient, goes into, split equally, each. And these would be words that would be the keywords to tell you to divide. So often when you're doing word problems, you might run into one keyword and that's gonna help you choose which operation to use to solve your problem. Often though, as you get more advanced and you do multi-step problems that require more than one step to solve, you're gonna see more than one keyword possibly. All right, so let's take a look at the word problem that I created behind me here. And it is about my friend Pearl. So Pearl just planted a garden and she wanted to do some flowers. And she did flower bulbs and she did tulips and daffodils. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to read what the problem is. And I'm gonna be thinking about what's going on. Pearl planted 14 tulips and 28 daffodils in her garden. How many flowers did she plant in all? When you read through, you just want to kind of picture it in your mind and, okay, do I know what's happening? Yeah, so I'm going to check that box. And now I'm going to plan. Now part of my planning is I can read through again, but this time I'm going to look for some key words that tell me what to do. So, Pearl planted 14 tulips and 28 daffodils in her garden. You know, for me, important information would be like 14 and 28. Those seem like very important numbers to me. So I'm gonna underline those. How many flowers did she plant in all? Ooh, in all. That's one of those key words. If I go back to my list and I wanna see what the key word is, let's see here. In all, I see it. That's gonna tell me to add. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to solve it. I've come up with my plan. I know that I have some numbers and my keyword tells me to add. So I am going to take 28 plus 14 and find the sum. The other thing I could do is I could draw some pictures, right? So I could do 28 flowers and I'm gonna do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are my tulips, or my daffodils for 28, excuse me. Now 14 tulips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four for 14. So I have 10, 20, 30. Here was 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So I'm thinking there might be about 42 flowers. I'm gonna check it with my number sentence, 28 plus 14. Eight plus four is 12. I know that I can't have 12, so I'm gonna exchange. I'm going to regroup my 10, which will leave me with two. Two plus one plus one is 42. <gasps> All right, I got an answer of 42 flowers. So I'm gonna check my box for solve, and I'm gonna check my answer to make sure. Does this make sense? She planted 14 tulips and 28. How many in all? Well, 42 is definitely bigger than that. So I'm gonna say that this answer makes sense. That I can have a grown up or an adult or even someone a little more advanced in math than I am to check my answer. So this was one way to model how to use the read, plan, solve, check method to, to solve word problems. And as I mentioned, you have four different levels of word problems that you can choose from. You wanna choose a just right level. So you don't wanna choose something that's too easy and you definitely don't wanna choose something that's too challenging. So good luck and share your work with your teacher. I know your teacher would love to see what you do. All right, bye.